Well, guys, I am already feeling a lot better today. Still dealing with my chest congestion, my cough. I still got that, but I, I should be feeling a lot better today because what we talked about yesterday is exactly what happened. 100%. We nailed it. And that's exactly why I do these videos. I want to keep everybody updated on what's happening. This fear that was spread through the market by retail money selling off from the CPI report completely erased, gone overnight. We got our, our recovery by midweek today, like we talked about. We saw major short liquidations to the upside, pushing BTC over 51K. We actually set a new cycle high of 51.6. This is exactly what we're talking about. We're on pace to do that 52 to 54K by the end of the week. And this is why I've said, don't, get, don't give into the fear. Right now, people that are trying to spread the fear and trying to short the market, I've seen large entities, large influencers open up major short positions up in these ranges. And, and right now, the problem is, is that people are betting against pockets that are trillions and trillions of dollars deep. For example, yesterday's, you know, even though the market looked like crap, look what institutional money did. Second largest day of buying ever, $631 million of inflows into BTC. This is the kind of stuff that you can't ignore. This is the kind of stuff that is impacting the market in a big way. And again, this is that thing that is going to push us to likely some levels we've never seen before. While we're, frankly, we're already at levels we've never seen before in terms of BTC at this time in the market cycle. But this is where things get wild. Now, I've talked about this a bunch on my Patreon. You guys can you know, check out the link below if you guys do want to dive in further into that. So you guys get direct access to me. You can check out some of this, some of this alpha I've been giving for a while here. But Again, this is where we might continue to extend further, especially if we continue to do what we did at the end of last week. This blue line here represents that. We may actually break out of our, our top trend here, which would be quite interesting. Now, what we're seeing in terms of ADA is more of the same as well. More of this push to the upside, this trying to beat the, the ceiling off this thing and break through 58 cents. We're above 56. We're showing good support there. And we now we need to just break past 58 and then all bets are off. Would not be surprised if Ada did something like one of these up here, okay? Now, again, this is not financial advice. There's no guarantee. But as the market is showing a lot of strength, you guys could obviously see that BTC liquidation candle right there. Gosh, it looks so good. It looks so good, guys. You can see Ada is showing a lot of strength in the market, up over 20% over the last week, up 3.46% on the day. It's uh, it's not the market leader. It's not the market lagger as well. It's doing well. ICP is actually doing well today. I'm going to be doing a video on that later. But this is this is what, oh, wow. And BTC just surged to 51.5. Well, you see what we might be in store for today is more of this bullish momentum. We basically got that that fear out of the market. And now it's, it's back to the same. It's back to this rally, back to the, the continuation of bullish prices. This is, this is exciting, guys. I hope you guys are excited about what we're seeing right now. It's never been done historically. And this is that market cycle, again, where people can truly create financial freedom. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.